life is a mystery. If you take away the mystery and everything was certain, you would need faith. Faith functions best when you don't know. So God often puts us in positions where we don't know to destabilize us from relying too much on what we know. Yeah. Like a trainer who starts you out and he starts you out on a weight machine. Okay. And then he puts you on a bench and he gives you free weights because now it's less stable. The the less stable it is, the more muscles you build. Mm -hmm. Finally, he puts you on a ball where everything's unstable. And when he puts you on the ball, he's building up your core. Mm. So the more unstable your life becomes, the more you have to go inside yourself to stabilize yourself. Mm. You're strong enough to withstand instability. Yeah. And if you knew everything, you'd have no room for faith, for discovery, Mm. for innovation, because creativity comes in uncertainty. The unfolding controversy surrounding Bishop T. Jakes and Steve Harvey has created a maelstrom of speculation and concern within both spiritual and entertainment communities. The situation is further complicated by explosive allegations and intimate connections involving Jake's Harvey and Harvey's wife, Marjorie. Rumors have emerged suggesting a deeper and more personal relationship between Bishop T.D. Jakes and Marjorie Harvey, Steve Harvey's wife. Questions have been raised about whether Steve Harvey could be offering his wife to Jake's or if Jake's is developing romantic feelings for Marjorie. The controversy began with a lawsuit filed against music mogul Diddy by RARP singer Kessie Ventura, accusing him of sexual assault and trafficking. This lawsuit reportedly led to the uncovering of evidence linking Bishop T. Jake's to scandalous parties, thus escalating the controversy. In a shocking revelation, Marjorie Harvey confirmed having affairs with two of the family's bodyguards. This admission was followed by claims that she also had a sexual relationship with Bishop T. Jakes, further complicating the situation and intensifying the scandal. Despite the mounting allegations, Bishop T. Jakes has adamantly denied any involvement in these scandalous activities during public appearances, including a Christmas service. However, his denials have done little to quell the rumors, which continue to spread. That's it. That's it. See, that wickedness that is in you will flourish. Oh, yes. When you on the T.D. Jakes. Yes, yes, it will. It'll flourish. Yes, it will. On the Joel Austin. That's right. It'll flourish on the Creflo Dollar. That's right. That's right. Because there's nobody attacking it. Right. There's an interview on YouTube. When somebody interviewed T.D. Jakes mm-hmm. and asked him about the homosexual question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right away, he distanced himself from the subject by saying, well, it's not for me to say who's going to heaven or who's going to hell. I don't have no hell to put them in. I don't have no uh, heaven to put them in. Well, that's truth and lie. You don't have a heaven or hell to put them in, but it is your place to say who's going and who is not. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's your place. Wow. That's why God sent a man to show you the difference between the sheep and the goat. And the goat. That's right. The spiritual community has been deeply unsettled by these revelations. Opinions are divided with some members expressing long-held suspicions about Jake's, while others dismiss the allegations as mere celebrity gossip. The controversy has also raised questions about the integrity and personal lives of the Harvey family. The scandal has sent shockwaves through the media and entertainment industries with significant implications for the reputations for the reputations of both the Jake's and Harvey families. The involvement of other prominent figures, as suggested by the evidence provided by Kessie Ventura, has further fueled the fire. You can run to TD Snakes, you can go to Creflo O'Penny, you can go to Smiling Joe Austin. Every preacher under the sun got to come back to Bible and do it the way God commanded or else be dropped in hell. That's right. I don't care nothing about no celebrity. No, no. That's walking this earth. Oh, no. It ain't nobody more famous than God. That's right. Now, if you can get God to change, mm-hmm. I'll change. Amen. And he already said, I'm a God that changed that not. That changed not. 
All right, son, what did he say? Matthew 19 and verse 9. All right. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away you his wife. You know, this gospel is banging creation. Amen. Uh, they got the celebrity world talking. Amen. They got it all posted all over TikTok and celebrities and, and rappers are including what I preach in my in their songs, you know. <laughs> Wonderful. Amen. They're getting hold of it and just posting it everywhere. Wonderful. This thing ought to be on every form of social media under the sun right. because we're living in the last days now. That's right. And everybody today want to go up to the men tradition, tradition and don't want what God says. That's right. All right, son, what is that? And I say unto you, whosoever shall put whosoever! away his wife. Whosoever shall put away his wife. The moment he said whosoever, that got everything. Everybody. That's, that's everybody. Whosoever. He didn't say whosoever but Pastor Jennings. No, whosoever. <laughs> whosoever but Steve Harvey. No, uh, whosoever. Who the devil you think you are. That's right. Who do you think? Listen, here, 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 here. You celebrities out there. Who in the world you think you are? Who do you think you are? You think because you live in a mansion, now own a fleet of cars, have your own yacht, and have uh, multi-million dollar contracts. That don't impress God. No. You sh Listen, there are rich men that are dead today. That's right. Like poor men. That's right. And I noticed the rich man that's dead, not one had had enough money to buy his life back. That's right. Not one. That's right. Not one been able, thank God, to buy his life back. That's right. Neither will you. Oh, yeah. Amen. What I'm preaching to you, I'm saying to the world. To the world. Amen. Everybody got to come back to Scripture. That's Do right. it the way what the Word of God says it. What's the ever thing that are written? A full time, time is written for our learning, learning. That we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. As the scandal continues to unfold, the responses from the Harvey family and Bishop T. Jakes will be closely scrutinized by supporters and critics alike. The challenge of maintaining a balance between private lives and public personas becomes increasingly difficult amid such intense public scrutiny. The controversy illustrates the complexities of navigating public and private lives, especially for high-profile figures in the spiritual and entertainment sectors. The situation remains fluid, and the potential ramifications for all involved parties are significant. Despite the denials, the scandal continued to cast a dark shadow over Bishop T. Jakes, threatening to tarnish his previously unblemished reputation. Sources close to the matter claim the pastor is a regular visitor to the Harvey household, sparking curiosity and speculation about their relationship. This raises the question, what could a pastor embroiled in scandal possibly have in common with a seemingly upstanding family man like Steve Harvey? Is there more to their bond than meets the eye? Indeed, there are some rather intriguing rumors. Amidst ongoing speculation, one particularly shocking revelation has surfaced regarding the Harvey household. Allegations suggest that Marjorie Harvey has been involved with Steve Harvey's bodyguard, William Big Boom Freeman, leading her to initiate divorce proceedings and seek $200 million from the television host. Amid the internet speculation about alleged infidelity, questions arise about the nature of Marjorie's relationship with Freeman. Despite his role as Steve's trusted bodyguard and confidant, rumors suggest a shadowy past behind Freeman's protective demeanor. Various outlets, including Radar Online, have explored Freeman's alleged history as a former pimp, raising doubts about his intentions and character. Nevertheless, Steve and Marjorie Harvey refused to bow to the controversy. Demonstrating unity, the couple released a statement staunchly refuting the cheating rumors as unfounded and deceitful. Marjorie also took to social media to share a meaningful Bible verse on facing false accusations, underscoring their commitment to facing challenges together.